This tutorial uses infrastructure as code to easily replicate AWS resources to another region. The AWS console is an easy tool to start creating cloud resources. But, the more resources you create, the harder it gets to replicate your infrastructure. Forma2 is an online tool that generates cloud formation templates from your existing AWS resources. Hence, you can replicate your existing resources to another region by creating a cloud formation stack. In this video, you're going to learn the foundation of infrastructure as code, navigating cloud formation templates, using cloud formation intrinsic functions, managing users and permissions with IAM. First step. Configuration. In this step, you're gonna understand the example we are using and give former two permissions for scanning AWS resources in your account. Our reference project is deployed in the North Virginia region. It consists of an API Gateway REST API and a DynamoDB table. In addition, I am roles and policies enables that the API accesses the DynamoDB table. For testing the current infrastructure, we use the API Gateway console to submit a post request. and check whether the data is present in the DynamoDB table. Since the service is working as expected, you can move on to create a new user that Forma2 uses for scanning your AWS resources. Open the IAM console and create a new user. Creating a new user is considered a security good practice when using third-party services. You only need read permissions to using Forma 2. In this video, we use an administrator access, but be aware that this is too much permissive for this job. Create your new user credentials and save them for later usage. Second step. Create cloud formation template. In this step, you configure and use Forma2 to scan your account and create a cloud formation template. Go to the Forma2 website and enter your IAM credentials previously created. Next, scan your account. During this process, Forma2 checks for all existent resources in your AWS account. Notice that these errors are normal, since our user lacks some permissions. Then, you select those resources you want to be part of your template. To do so, explore the service categories on the left side panel. In this video, we select resources that belong to the project we use as a case study. We start with the DynamoDB table.
Then, we select API Gateway Resources. You can notice the number of selected resources for our template increases as you add them to the resource list. Notice that it is important to check all resources used in your project for a given service. But be also aware that Forma 2 has limitations, as we're gonna show later in this video. Finally, I am policy and role are the last resources we need. If you want to populate your template with all resources in your account, you can speed up the selection choosing settings in the left panel. and then add all resources at once. Generate your cloud formation template. This template describes your existent resources. Copy the content into a text file and save it. As a security measure, return to the IAM console and delete the user created in the previous step. Third step. Resolve issues and test. In this step, you use CloudFormation to create a stack of resources based on your previously created template. Replicating your resources in a different region is a simple way to increase your service availability. In this video, we use the Canada Central Region as our alternative region. The cloud formation template consists of several sections, but only one is mandatory, the resources section. The resources section groups the description of your AWS resources. Each AWS resource is described by a name, a type, and a set of properties. Head over to the Cloud Formation Console, change your region to the Canada Central. And create a new stack. A stack is a set of resources created according to your template. Upload your template file. and name your stack. When you submit your request, CloudFormation start the process of creating your cloud resources. You can follow the entire process choosing the Events tab. In our first attempt, the creation process isn't successfully completed. When an error happens, CloudFormation rolls back the changes, deleting any resource created. Investigating the event list, you can figure out the problem. As our template consists of existent resources, we are not allowed to create global resources with the same name. In this case, 
We need to change the name of the policy API gateway uses to accessing the DynamoDB table. Delete the stack. And fix the template. Open the template file and find the policy description. To fix the issue, you can append the current region to the name. You can do so using intrinsic functions. In addition to the policy, update the role. Repeat the stack creation process using the updated file version. As you can see, there is another error. This time, the process failed because the lack of a request validator resource. This is a resource used in our API but it wasn't exported by Former 2. Actually, it wasn't even identified by Former 2. Delete this stack, and return to the template file. To fix this issue, remove any reference to the request validator. Try creating the stack again. This time, the process successfully completes. Head over to the Resources tab so you can check and access your cloud resources. Access your API and test it. Please notice that in this project we created two independent tables in different regions. To keep them in sync, you're gonna need other DynamoDB features. Last step. Clean up. As all resources created belong to a stack, you can easily terminate your resources by deleting the stack. You can further check related cloud services to be absolutely sure everything is deleted.